I've just fitted back to back an easy ABL and a BL touch to my Ender 3. So here's my comparison. The Easy ABL by TH Studios and the BL Touch by Ant Clubs, both are automatic bed leveling sensors. Basically what they do is probe the bed before your print starts and then they'll move the Z axis up and down to account for any irregularities in your bed and help your first layer stick. If your bed is not warped completely flat and you're good at dialing in your first layer, well, perhaps this is not for you. But for everyone else, it's going to help you eliminate 90% of problems of failed prints from poor first layer adhesion. I've just fitted and tested both back to back, so if you are going down this route, here's my fair comparison. Firstly, can I say that both of these probes work great. They're both very accurate and they both work exactly as advertised. Tom's 3D already made a great video where he set up a reg to test the accuracy of all of these sensors. My only complaint is that he had the BL Touch tested on its side when the instructions explicitly state that it should be tested vertically. Personally, I care much more about real world results and both of these sensors work just as advertised. They do a great job and there's no difference between them here. Now most places in the world you'll be able to get your hands on either of these sensors. So to keep things comparable, I'm going to compare for the US, where most of my viewers are from. The cheapest version of the Easy ABL is available from TH3D for $60. The BL Touch with the 1 meter extension, which you need for pretty much any printer, comes in from Ant Clubs on Amazon at $45. For both of these, you can pay a little bit more to have an easier experience when installing. The Easy ABL Easy Connect version is $5 more at $65. And if you purchase a Pin27 board for your BL Touch, it's gonna up the price to around $52. Now I haven't included postage here because that's gonna vary on where you live. And the prices will vary region by region so make sure you check for your region using the links below. Generally, the BL Touch comes out just a little bit cheaper than the Easy ABL. Now, one way that the Easy ABL makes up for its slightly increased price is in after sales support. The unified TH3D firmware is optimized all around making it as easy as possible for the Easy ABL to be added. If you run into any type of trouble, Tim from TH3D offers free personalized email support for all of his customers. For the BL Touch, you're a little bit more on your own. You have to rely on video guides like mine, as well as searching and posting on community and Facebook groups. If you're new to all this 3D printing stuff, then maybe that customer support from TH3D will be the deciding factor alone. Once you've 3D printed your mount, when it comes to physical installation, both probes are identical. Two nuts for the Easy ABL, two nuts and bolts for the BL Touch. Wiring is similar, with two wires for the end stop button each, and then a couple of extra wires for each also. The Easy Connect and Pin27 board options make both of them even easier. The Easy ABL is probably a fraction easier than the BL Touch, but there is also some calibration that needs to take place. Although this is only one screw to twist and easy to do, it's probably almost foolproof. Easy ABL definitely wins here. As I said earlier, the TH3D firmware is designed around making TH3 products as easy as possible to add. You can follow guides like mine for the BL Touch, but just keep in mind that although the steps are fairly straightforward, every time you update the firmware, it's gonna take you another five to 10 minutes to get everything set up each time. This one definitely goes to the BL Touch. Because it's a mechanical probe, it doesn't really matter what surface that it's probing. It can be a hot bed, cold bed, glass, build tack, etc. It doesn't require any calibration and it'll adjust just fine. The Easy ABL also does a good job of adjusting to different surfaces, but you'll have to calibrate it and set your Z offset for each one. This can be stored in the start G code, so it only needs playing with once per bed surface. If you live somewhere with significant swings in temperature and humidity, then this may be a factor for you as well. The Easy ABL has the potential with its type of sensor to have the readings go slightly out if the conditions change. As long as you're there for the start of the print, you can just use the baby stepping to adjust, so it's probably not that big a deal. This one's pretty minimal, but probably worth mentioning. If you home the BL Touch with an object still in the way, you have a small chance of the probe bending or even snapping. I had a bit of a brain fade once on my Cocoon Create Touch, and I rammed it into something that was still on the bed. A few anxious moments, but after power cycling, fortunately, it came good. The Easy ABL, of course, has no moving parts, so you won't have to worry about damage anywhere near as much.
time for my summary. As you can see, both probes work great, but there's pros and cons for each. So let me present you with two scenarios and you can decide which one you might fit in to help you make your decision. Person A is new to 3D printing. They've just got the first 3D printer. All the firmware stuff is confusing, but they can do the install if they follow instructions. They're just not that confident yet. They buy the Easy ABL with the Easy Connect kit. They install it plug and play. And if they're getting confused, they got the safety net of the one-on-one -on -one support from Tim from TH3D. They only want to print on one type of bed surface until they build their skills further. Person B is perhaps more experienced with 3D printing. They've been 3D printing for a little bit. They know a little bit about firmware. They're confident following guides. They're happy to do a little bit of searching on Facebook groups and community forums if they get stuck. And they like to experiment with different bed surfaces and want to be able to change them between them very quickly. Person A, I would definitely recommend the Easy ABL. Person B, I would definitely recommend the BL Touch. But just remember, the best solution for you is the one that you understand and works well. I'm not gonna lie, it's a hard decision, but hopefully I've put some points forward that give you a little bit of clarity on deciding which ABL sensor to get if you're heading this way. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy 3D printing. G'day, it's Michael again. If you like the video, then please click like. If you wanna see more content like this in future, click subscribe, and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really wanna support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.